Panelites Podcast here. Kyle with... Pierre, what up, baby? Grab bag episode. Bunch of not so great things to talk about. Nothing is good news. Big bag. Bad news. Just not great news. Not a lot of it, and you're going to sit here and you're going to listen to all of it. First, Diamond is suing for a total of $2.8 million for items that it claims GameStop ordered but then tried to cancel. Diamond produces what is ordered. Therefore, GameStop is just trying to give back shit that they don't want. As we know, GameStop is already failing. So is a $2.8 million going to end them? Absolutely not. But one more nail in the coffin, I guess. Amazon's buying them soon. I wouldn't be surprised. To be honest, I don't know what they would do with them. Maybe turn them into a cloud-based streaming for video games. Being their own isn't working out so well. That's a little news there where someone's getting sued. Not good news. We told you it wasn't good. No, I'm going to continue with the not-so-good news. The Riddler prequel miniseries somehow was rumored and then unrumored. So I don't think it's fucking happening. I think it's just dead in the water. They took it away. You know what else they took away? The Gotham Knights TV show, which I know you were very, very excited for. That is gone. CW's getting canceled. HBO actually removed a ton of things off of their streaming platform. High percent of things just went away. But with all of that being said, the only thing I actually care about with all of this is the Batman animated that had Bruce Tim returning has been dropped by HBO. Now, they're looking for a new home. I don't know how that works legally, but HBO is not picking it up. So where is it going? And is it done? Is it almost done? Is the budget going to get slashed if it does get picked up? DC is being sold. I think they're going to get bought by somebody soon. And you will see it picked up by whoever buys it. Because that's a great idea. Not like the Riddler show. I'm not a fan of that idea. Was that maybe just good news that it's going away? Bad news turned into good news. <laughs> so speaking of CW, a little more news there. The actor Jordan, who plays Jonathan Kent, is exiting the Superman Lois TV show. Which was the last survival show of the CW and was getting, we assume it's final season because nothing is getting renewed, obviously. Uh, it came out today that apparently it was for his own mental health and personal reasons. Nothing against the show. Except that he was on a CW show. That's what he needs. He needs exactly. time away and a breather from the fact that his show sucks. <laughs> Although it was the better of the CW shows, they are not all that great as we know. And he probably foresaw it canceling and maybe got out while he could to try and get invested in a longer project is my assumption. I don't know if you know this, but their CGI sucks. Oh, yeah. I watched a few episodes of Superman Lois, like the beginning of it. Uh, I'm not talking just them. I'm talking CW in general. I'm talking oh, yeah. when people compare She-Hulk to Shiji Shrek. Oh, yeah. No, they cleaned up She-Hulk. It is not comparable to anything anymore. People need to go watch CW and then come back and say, oh, okay, it can get much worse than this. Yes. Staying in the DC realm of things possibly going away. Now, take this very lightly. It already kind of was debunked, but there was a rumor that the Batman sequel, they were going to phase out that whole universe. But Matt Reeves did come out with some kind of contract that he wants an exclusive deal with Warner Brothers. And what else would he do if they're going to scrap his big Batman project? So that rumor's debunked, but it did look like for a second that that might have been its only movie. Mm, I feel like that would be a big mistake. That's the only thing DC has done right, other than Harley Quinn. But the problem is, they created such great little pieces in totally different universes. Yeah, and none of it can combine none in any it. kind of fashion. Yeah, you have the Joker, a great thing coming out with the second one, not combinable with anything at all. Not at the all. The Batman in his own little universe. They could have pushed the Batman and the Joker possibly together, but uh, it's the age gap of when they showed Bruce and not so much. And then you have Shazam. That's still coming out, the sequel to that? Oh, yeah. And was it you telling me that The Rock was purposely distancing himself from that movie with Black Adam? Oh, no, I didn't hear that, actually. Yeah. He doesn't want it to be connected. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they're doing with any of the characters. Good luck, DC. At least there is some hope in the comics department as we had the recent release of DC Mech number two. Nothing more to say than fantastic as expected. A little Green Lantern action. I will say that this issue is somehow better than the number one. You will enjoy it. I won't spoil anything. That's all I'm going to say is it is better and there's Green Lanterns. I flashed through the pages quickly mm -hmm. while I was there because I couldn't wait. I saw wings and I said oh, okay, close it. <laughs> <laughs> Batman Beyond is getting a new costume. The symbol is say a little bit 90s Nightwing where it kind of pulls off to the shoulders. Did you see um, it in Neo Year? No. I saw released art on Twitter. Is it coming out in Neo Year? Yes. It will be in the finale. Oh, okay. The wings are created they're not as much under his arms as they are behind him and more for show, in my opinion. His hands glow red. Not sure what that's about. I don't love it necessarily, but I don't hate it. I'm open to a 
updated costume. I've been following that book. It's been good. It's been like a, a pretty good little story. So. I'm a few behind, to be honest. Yeah. Which is funny because it's like one of my favorites. At least DC has that, right? The comics. Hopefully that doesn't go down the drain like everything else seems to be going because a handful of their books have been really fucking cool in my opinion i hope they all find a happy place in marvel it would be weird is if marvel bought dc now obviously there's movie rights tv rights all this weird shit right well let's say that marvel or disney just somehow acquired all of dc my opinion the correct way to do it is the same way marvel had its ultimate universe they would have the dc universe can you cross over through portals sure they're their own universe can batman come help spider-man through a portal one day but that's the only way to do it they need to stay separate it's too much on marvel news rumors iron fist is going to be recast apparently i yeah. called that a while there ago. was there was rumor also for luke cage to be recast as well but that seemed to calm down it's well, too perfect of a luke cage there's like no reason right my thought is if they make a show they're not going to get solo shows it's going to be a heroes for hire that's what it'll be called and it will be about the two of them already established so i do think if one's getting recast i think they're both getting recast no i think he's getting recast specifically mm -hmm. because i think they want to make him an asian character which makes sense in the comic books they've already replaced him like he still exists yeah as just danny the old but iron, iron yeah but sword master iron fist is korean yeah right i think that's the way they're gonna go with it i just don't see them getting a solo show either of them no no, not at all. I agree to your point, but I just see them picking up Heroes for Hire, maybe, or just some other team. Iron Fist is recast. Danny might still exist. Oh, you don't even Iron think Fist. they'll use the name Danny? You think it might actually be a new character taking the Iron I, Fist mantle? Oh, yeah. okay. So not a real recast in a sense, kind of like a like this title is change. Like a new Iron Fist. Okay. I can see that too. I don't know if it'll follow the comics. If it does, that book's going to go nuts when Swordmaster first becomes Iron Fist, yeah, which I think I you have, have one, book. right? You don't have one? Yeah, I have the first book of this number one but i don't have where sword master becomes iron fist i don't know is it in the number one no it becomes it in like his own book we might want to look into that you know just for financial purposes did you hear about the open world black panther game that supposedly is in development it's a leak so i don't know how true it is did you hear about the wolverine game mm. that's supposedly in development no i didn't mm. any rumor about what kind of game it would be role-playing like uh, spider-man oh i wouldn't call that role-playing what would you call that? I'm under the assumption that it's role playing because you're playing the role of Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Actually, you might not be wrong with that because if you're changing your stats, the way you look in different equipment, yeah, you might be right. It might be considered. Okay. All right. I'll give it to you. I think Black Panther's the same thing. Now, the Black Panther rumor I heard was open world. Spider Man's open world, so that same yeah. deal. Okay. They're not going to just leave him in Wakanda. That'd be weird. Yeah, that would be weird. Does he ride a rhino? He fights in the jungle and fights people trying to get into Wakanda. Mm -hmm. But I just wouldn't want to be open world in the city. But how would like it Wakanda. feel? Would it feel like Spider Man jumping and able to, like, latch on to anything yeah yeah like tarzan okay you lost me at the tarzan thing but okay do you want to plug your streams you've been doing i see that you've been trying to go live quite a bit you know what i want to plug actually another trailer for another video game that's coming out oh okay which i did talk about on my stream it's pierre oh. and the baguettes on <laughs> twitch that's a little plug for you and i have been plugging paneloids i don't know if you've noticed that but i have tried. yeah i don't watch your streams yeah, no one's following it takes time i have 106 followers that's actually not bad that's yeah, surprising. Trying to average three viewers. That's the next step to become an oh. affiliate. I had 50 okay. plus people talking in the chat at one point. We'll see how that works out. But during that, I did do a review, or I guess a live reaction. People are loving these live reactions. So I did a live mm. reaction of game trailers coming out. Okay. And one of them was Midnight Sun. Did you mm. see that trailer? Yeah, a long time ago. A little delayed. Did you know it's a card-based game? Oh, what do you mean a card-based game? Card-based game. No, I thought it was like a Marvel's Ultimate Alliance kind of... You mean like Hearthstone or like Magic the Gathering? card based game no like you fight but you get a deck of cards with your okay. fighters and you use those cards to make them attack like a big waste of time that's what it is i am more interested in it now <laughs> <laughs> i'm so upset because the trailer was so sick i was like yo the music is pumping i don't know if you watched the recent trailer i don't know if it was the same no I, I might have missed it i was talking shit but maybe i didn't see the new one it had like venom in it and it had hulk but like he was possessed no i saw that yeah, okay, so then maybe it's the same one. 
Or do they show, like, the cards of, like, how it works? No, no, no. It was just, like, them standing there as a group and then, like, the enemies. I was excited, though. I was like, wow, this trailer really has me pumped. But someone commented that it's a card-based game. And I was like, I take back everything. We're going off of one of your viewers in the chat. Told you no, 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 no. Okay. Someone did their own video explaining the game. And I was like, oh, that's what that is. I hope to see it played live on <laughs> Pierre and the Baguettes. Nope. Hope to join that stream one day. You can. We can do it today. We can play Call of Duty. I am taking a break from all of that. The other things I'd like to comment on are movies mm. that have recently came out. Yes, please. So, nope. Not saying no, I don't want to share, but nope, oh. the movie. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it was a really good movie. Jordan Peele did another good job with it. I'd rate it 8 out of 10. About aliens. I like aliens. Or I guess UFOs. It's good. Definitely watch it. Comparable to the other two? I I wouldn't it's rank it against office. his other movies. I think it's different from those movies. More or less horror? Definitely less horror, Good. but still had me gripping my seat a little bit at times. I was really nervous I get certain scenes like what was happening. Definitely put up a claustrophobia warning for that movie because there's oh. some scenes that will make you just pretend you're not there. Okay. I don't like that at all. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. A comfortable scene, but there were scenes that was like, oh, God. But yeah, otherwise it was great. Second movie I'd like to plug is mm -hmm. the Dragon. Dragon Ball movie. Dragon Ball Super. Mm -hmm. for you sure. saw it? I didn't, but oh, it's out. Do you want to go see it? I might just buy it. You can buy it on Amazon and just watch it. Oh, really? Well, you let me know. It's a big movie, you know, and their movies have been doing really well for them. They've been launching them in movie theaters, and this one's worldwide, and it wasn't well advertised at all. Half people didn't even realize. I didn't even realize it was in movie theaters until I watched the trailer. I heard that it's doing so well because there's nothing out right now. Like, there's no blockbuster out for the month of August and movie theaters are hurting drastically due to this. Yeah, no, it's doing great. And they're talking about how it went through a whole bunch of like issues with release dates. They had to get mm -hmm. pushed back because of a whole bunch of legal issues that were happening. So it got pushed back like three or four times. Then it wasn't being advertised at that point at all. I wonder how it would be if they actually advertised it well or if it came out on time. I did hear that the Jujutsu Kaisen movie should be coming to Crunchyroll. Season two coming. Yes. So I'm happy to see that the movies are making it to Crunchyroll because that was always bothersome to me. It's like, okay, oh my God, it's so jam. annoying. Like my Hero Academia one, I haven't seen the most recent movie. It didn't even come out on DVD yet. And that was like over a year ago. And then I prefer dubbed specifically for My Hero Academia. So I'm going to go buy a DVD and then have it not even be dubbed. Really good dubbing. Really good dubbing. Gotta say. So that's the one where I don't know if I can do subtitles. Attack on Titan, the switch to that, no problem at all. But that one, I don't know why. The voices, even when they're cartoony and kiddish, just fit so perfectly. On I Titan, I actually prefer subtitles. I go either way. You definitely take it more seriously when it's in subtitle. Mm -hmm. But I think the dubbing, why. I think, is great in that as well. Chainsaw um, Man coming out. Did you watch the trailer? I gotta be honest. I forgot. Just watch it, like, right now. If you want, it's like two minutes. A few moments later. The anime. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Mappa. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting so far. Oh, yeah, it's going to be nuts. So, I guess my big question is, is his head a permanent chainsaw or is it like a helmet he puts on? I don't know. Question for Kenny Porter, for sure. That looks rather cool. I've been doing the original Gundam. It's a little tough to get through, especially in English. I'm making my way through it. The story itself is pretty good. I like how I watched Gundam Origin and then the characters I was like familiar with got killed off just like casually in the original. I was like, oh, cool. I know this character. Gundam Origin is before or the original Gundam? Yeah, it's a prequel. I watched the prequel. Gotcha. became accustomed to these characters knowing they were going to be bigger characters just and they were die. and then they just died casually i'm like man he was in like every episode of origin and like origin wasn't short by any means like mini movies almost that was it good to. origin i would give it like a six out of ten i don't necessarily recommend it i just had this mindset that i'm doing it from scratch i might as well do it in timeline order rather than release date yeah. order no i think you're definitely doing it the right way um, i just watched the trailer for solo leveling what do you think of that fuck you that's what i thought what a shitty trailer it wasn't a great trailer but i'm telling you it's going to blow up all i watch just transitions yeah. bunch of transitions like a, like a slideshow <laughs> yeah it was a slideshow with like transitions no moving character a bunch of flames and it was like someone just made it in their base i'm telling you the art is insane the story's just continuously like just very fast paced and like it feels like the main character is living normal life but also kind of living a video game it's got this perfect mix it's going to be the biggest anime everyone's going to be talking about it when it comes out i believe you but that trailer was just 
pointless. Why well, even drop this? House of Dragons just released. You didn't watch the first one, did you? No, I heard that the people wanted more brother sister stuff and they didn't get it. Well, I'm glad they didn't get it. <laughs> there was a moment in it where I was like, please stop, please stop. Oh, okay. No, it was fine. It was okay. Like you get a little moment of like, eh, I don't like this. <laughs> but I don't know. It's a little hard to connect to some of the characters, but towards the end of the episode, you kind of feel intrigued. Not necessarily there was a cliffhanger at all. Kind of was obvious where the story was going, but a Enough where it's like okay i'm invested enough to see the next few and with that i did watch morbius you did watch morbius i did see this it wasn't as bad as people say now don't really? get me wrong it was a bad movie entertainment purposes venom let there be carnage was bad but it was entertaining one little notch below that just because you don't give a shit about morbius i wouldn't put it drastically below I would say it's, as entertainment goes, I'd say it's close to Let There Be Carnage. Like, not something like you would walk out of the theater for. You would see it to the end. That's surprising. I might have just been in a weird state of mind because I was coming back from vacation on a plane with sunburn, peeling sunburn. Mm. So I might have just been, like, happy to be out of the sun. It was morbid time, and I felt the morb. Felt the morb. Yeah. I don't know. You seem disappointed in me. I'm going to watch it at some point. 100% okay. when it's free. I don't know if I want to. I just feel like I have to watch. You definitely don't have to. The end credit scenes don't even make sense. Vultures in them and just bizarre. He transfers to that universe. Doesn't make sense, but he is somehow in the Sony verse now. But the reason I even brought it up is because the villain Morbius is actually the villain House of Dragons as well. It's like the same actor. Mm. I forget his name. I think he was in Doctor Who or something. Full circle. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is a leak. You know, we love our leaks here. Did you see the Ironheart action figure leak? I did. It's being called Mark II. What would you call it? Because I texted you what I think it is. How do you see this Mark II Ironheart suit? I think the action figure doesn't do it justice, and I'm willing to see it on the TV, all right? <laughs> not going to call it what you called it. So not Power Rangers, but specifically the Power Rangers reboot film that didn't get a sequel. That's the Power Rangers vibes I got from it. There's not enough detail. The helmet looks like a basic visor. Now, it's clearly inspired from her current suit in the comics. The one that looks like Iron Man suit for a female, that's my favorite. I hated that they ever changed this. Yeah. This one that they leaked in this toy is basically a super, super simplified version of the current suit, where it almost puts a heart shape on the chest, everything is red, and there's just a basic visor. Yeah. Why would they make this into an action figure? Money grab? I just am hoping it's either not real, a dumbed-down version, because it wasn't like a Marvel Legends or anything. It was one of those cheapies. tall kind of plastic ones. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, but... They call them cheapies. Cheapies, okay. All right, so any other closing thoughts on our not so great news episode no i think we actually turned it around and we started giving some good news <laughs> i'm just gonna name it news <laughs> <laughs> yeah old and new we gave you everything we get mixed bag news some of its leaks some yeah. of its rumors that probably isn't real and most of its opinion yep all right Panelist Panelist podcast, podcast. <laughs> Kyle here from Panloids Podcast to bring you a promotional slash update video. Now, if you're not familiar with Panloids Podcast, Panloids is a podcast about comic books and nerd culture. Now, when I say comic books, I mean everything from movies to TV to comic reviews to interviews with actual comic creators. We also cover all breaking news and attend all local conventions on the East Coast. If you're a fan of the MCU, comics, or just anything nerdy in general, our podcast is definitely for you. Not an episode goes without some kind of speculation, theory, or leak. New episodes can be found every Monday at 8 a.m. on all podcast streaming apps. Each episode is about 20 to 30 minutes long, and we are contained of four hosts. My co-hosts include Pierre, the sexy one, Jeremiah, the encyclopedia, and Dimitri, the moral support. I'm the leader of the group and also do all the behind the scenes as far as editing and posting and planning goes. If you plan to seek any of them out further, you can find Jeremiah at Above All Comics on TikTok and the Rivera Collection on Instagram. Pierre goes live on Twitch at Pierre and the Baguettes. And Dimitri, well, he won't even post a photo of me and him on Instagram, so good luck trying to find him. If you care to see my face a little more, I will post an unboxing or two or even a stitch on TikTok. And speaking of TikTok, we actually plan to go live this week where we plan to answer questions and probably ask you to subscribe. As I mentioned before, we have conducted a few interviews. Just to mention a few, Terry Moore, Kenny Porter, Baltimore Rivas, Paula Rivera, Dennis Hopeless, Rafael Albuquerque, Stephanie Phillips, 
and Philip Kennedy Johnson. Starting this week, we'll actually be posting video versions of our podcast on YouTube. If you're already a follower slash subscriber, we appreciate you. Feel free to comment on this video, whether you want to name your favorite episode or just tell us something you'd like to see us cover. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. And for everyone, we'd really appreciate a review. Again, all podcast apps, all social media, all reviews help. And with that, one more time, subscribe to Panelites Podcast.